My family has originated from the ancient lands of Van and Nakhichevan, and uh, both have immigrated to Iran and Iraq, but both of my grandparents uh, at a very young age have immigrated to Kuwait, where my father was born. Many of my family members have been victims and survivors of the Armenian Genocide. Um, when my great-grandfather and his family were forced out of their villages in Van um, for deportation, uh, they were essentially stripped of their humanity. And uh, my great-grandfather was a child at the time, and he actually witnessed the death of his father. A, a Turkish soldier had uh, shot my great-grandfather's father in the forehead and forced him to watch that. Um, so, unfortunately, my great-grandfather, along with his two younger siblings and his mother, uh, were forced to march towards the desert. And along the way, uh, my great-grandfather uh, lost his mother and uh, his younger brother, and he was left with his younger sister. And actually, a story was passed on to me by my father from my great-grandfather himself, uh, where he was explaining his brutal conditions during genocide and how uh, his sister, uh, his very young sister, uh, insisted on stopping because she was so thirsty. So he told her that to wait under a tree, so he placed her under a tree to go search for water by a nearby river. But uh, unfortunately, he never found water and he didn't find his sister either. So he continued marching alone until he was uh, he was reunited with his uh, mother and younger brother, luckily, and they fled to a. Uh, they escaped the march to a uh, small village in Iran called Salmast, and out of luck, there was an orphanage actually founded there. And when they visited the orphanage, they found uh, his younger sister, and my dad remembers him telling him that. Uh, he was sure that it was his sister because he was able to identify her by a, a birthmark on her back. Mm -hmm.